Uh, my name is Anthony. I am an artist and a facilitator. Yeah, I usually work with mixed media and now I'm studying at Angewandte in the Department of Experimental Game Cultures. Hello, I am Leo Lisa. Um, I'm working mostly on performance and music. Like my main focus is um, queer feminism. And in my practice, I usually work with topics of gossip and feminist technology. And then also what I've been focusing a lot at is the topic of queer monstrosity, especially from the Slavic folklore um, side. Uh, basically, now I'm working with Slavic monsters. It's mostly about um, motherhood. Like, um, as I got a child, I um, I really f felt like it's so Im for me really important to talk about this. Even that people said like better don't touch this topic because it will harm your ca artistic career. <laughs> What I'm doing now is that I'm taking a lot of inspiration from my growing up in a village in Czech Republic because we had this tradition which I really loved and it was usually around June when it was the children's day. Uh, we would have this tradition of going into the forest with masks on and uh, little kids would go from one point to another where there would be either older kids or adults masked as uh, folklore characters. So they would be in the roles of the little devils or uh, in Czech it's Čerti, or they would be uh, these like people that live in the lake and they would give you quests. And then you needed to solve the quest and when you solve the quest you would get a stamp and you could go to the next point. I'm always like in these topics or like my character is kind of like I'm always with uh, losers. <laughs> so um, I really like this, like um, these outside people or um, creatures. And in um, October, like a big performance with five other performers in Dschungel, Wien. And it's called Repro Rave, so like motherhood, for example. Like for me, it's mother with a star. So like I personally um, was really uh, like that motherhood is so connected of, with being a woman. So and it's hard to struggle against. Like you always have to explain if you don't define yourself as a woman in this role. In this uh, performance, it's techno music. Um, and voice that is telling the story about what it means to take care of a baby and um, doing all the care work that is unpaid and unseen and privatized in the house. <laughs> I started thinking about how a lot of these Slavic monsters that uh, we grew to know uh, as kids were actually queer coded or they had these queer characteristics that you can uh, from the contemporary perspective very easily find, such as they were flamboyant or they would only live in girl communities and then steal children from other people because they couldn't have their own. Like uh, the mother with a gender star, it means like f for me that all the person who are taking can be mothers. Like doesn't um, matter which gender, it's about taking care and was responsibility of children, of other humans, of animals, of the planet. Like it's this kind of mothering that is uh, activity. For my queerness, it was really important to embrace this kind of monstrosity. I started thinking about how to transfer this, uh, embracing the, mon the monster inside. Yeah, like I, I applied because for me it's really 
important to to share privilege, um, also like collaboration and working with people together. We were asked about the ideal partner that we would like to have and like what would be the cons and pros of working with someone else. And we both were like, oh yeah, but we really like need someone punctual and like who would be really like invested in the project and like we wouldn't have to wait for them. And then for the first question me and answer session, we were the only two people who came late. <laughs> and we <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> so we basically arrived at the same time, both late, and we were just laughing about it a lot. And I think it kind of bonded us. <laughs> I was really curious to meet the group and also like in this time of, I mean, it was three years Corona and three years of um, of taking care of a baby, so I really feel also in a need to have exchange with other artists. Then we actually found out that we have a lot of things in common and that, um, yeah, for me personally, it's really nice working with Lisa or like thinking about stuff with Lisa so far. Yeah, like I, I mean, um, I, I was dreaming of having an installation of a uterus for a long time and then it was really great to get matched with Anthony because Anthony also loves to do installation and <laughs> like it came up. I think for me when I came into it I was like Lisa just tell me what is interesting for you. I'm really glad to just be working on the physical thing and you can come up with the concept. <laughs> And then Lisa started talking about a lot of things that were important for them and I could see myself in it a little bit and I became intrigued and now uh, we are coming up with it together and it's really cute. It's about uh, queerness and motherhood, which uh, are topics that we view from totally different perspectives, but uh, it also allowed me to bring in a lot of these uh, crafted techniques because uh, it is something that is usually used with feminist topics and it can be overused a lot. This is a, I really like this contract, uh, contrast of materials so it's like a, I really wanted to have like a metal construction that is really strong but then like it was also this topic of wool like to have this um, softness also but something is holding you and you feel safe. So we will be working with wool which is uh, something that I've been working on a lot and it's a very fun material and I think that's really important for us because we have a topic which can be quite heavy or we want to like be really mindful about how we frame it but then we have this phase where we can just um, lock ourselves in a in a room for like a month and just like work on the physical thing. Yeah we we are both very um, sure that we want to sell this artwork so <laughs> <laughs> If you are interested, better you tell us uh, soon. <laughs> and yeah, it's like, it's a really nice uh, collaboration that like we talk about the topics we want to uh, um, have inside and how we can like, yeah, find a good surrounding and the sound and like the stories. So, and I'm also really looking forward to work together and have also this moment of crafting because I also love crafting. <laughs> so it's like this um, moment where the, you can materialize finally the vision of something you had for such a long time.